Thank you, Rob. A California legislative proposal that reduces the penalty for committing armed robberies is drawing condemnation from a broad coalition who opposed the idea. They say it's dangerous. However, the lawmaker behind the Senate bill says it will prevent overcharging nonviolent criminals. Crown Force's Zeke Madun reports. Uh, the Frederick Douglass Foundation wholeheartedly opposes this bill. As a matter of fact, in our opinion, it is a crime in and of itself. California State Assembly Bill SB 82 would reduce robberies that do not involve a weapon or an assault with great bodily injury from felony crimes to misdemeanor. Simply put, Senate Bill 82 will encourage more robberies to occur and creates a dangerous environment that puts all of California in danger. This statewide coalition of community leaders, law enforcement officials, and victims' rights advocates are sounding the alarm, warning of what they say will be an incentive for more crimes being committed if punishment is reduced. During the virtual press conference, they showed a video of a man being robbed while doing his laundry in San Francisco. They say under the current law, the suspects would be charged with felonies, but not under SB 82. It's a misdemeanor petty theft which in this state is, there's no punishment, essentially. When somebody is a victim of a robbery, it is more than just a physical attack. They have been now attacked emotionally, financially, in the most personal way. Senator Nancy Skinner introduced SB 82. We reached out to her office for an on-camera opportunity to be a part of this conversation. We received a press release that reads in part, quote, SB 82 is the product of more than a year of careful consideration by California's Committee on the Revision of the Penal Code, the membership of which includes judges and other legal experts. It goes on to say the purpose of SB 82 is simple, to clarify state law so that nonviolent cases of theft are not charged as violent felonies, unquote. Californians do need better protection, and this bill is just going the opposite direction. Hazik Madyun, Cron 4 News.